Hello and welcome to another segment we get to the source with Dr. Marco. Today we're going to take a different approach. My past webinars have been 45 minutes to an hour long. This is going to be a short presentation on a very specific topic. And that topic today is why sugar is keeping you fat. Unfortunately, the majority of the world is obese. And the reason why is one big main culprit. And that is fructose. Today we're going to focus on fructose and what it does to our body. So I have a short presentation that I want to give that's going to summarize that very quickly. So fructose. I'm going to break it down into four categories. We're going to talk about what fructose does to our DNA. Then we're going to talk about how fructose is related to insulin. Then we're going to talk about leptin resistance, and then we're going to wrap it up with insulin resistance. And fructose has an impact on every one of those categories. So before we continue, we need to understand how our body gets fructose into it. So we got to break it down into sucrose and high fructose corn syrup. Sucrose is your basic table sugar. When you break sucrose down, it is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. That's important to know because when we talk about high fructose corn syrup, you're going to see the difference. But this is the sugar that most people are familiar with ingesting. This is the sugar that you use um, in your coffee. This is the sugar that is in most carbohydrates. This is the sugar that is in most processed foods, um, in your cookies, in your cakes, and stuff like that. Sucrose is a big part of how fructose comes into the body. But then we have to talk about high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup has a higher percentage of fructose. So in that high fructose corn syrup, you have 55% fructose and 45% glucose. You're going to understand the importance of glucose in a very short time, but fructose is what we're going to focus on right now, and we're going to break it down into those categories. So like I said, the first thing we want to understand is how DNA is related to fructose. So when you have high fructose in your body, what it does to your DNA is your DNA breaks down into uric acid. Now we all know if we have too much uric acid, a lot of things can go on. One thing that's very common is, is gout where you get breakdown of the joints due to uric acid buildup. That's just one thing that, uh, an increase in uric acid could do. But another thing is what it does is it starts to increase your free radicals in your body. Free radicals in your body are these unstable bonds in the body that go and attack other stable bonds and break them down. And it's what many doctors believe is the reason why we go through the aging process because our body starts to get these free radicals that slowly start to break down our body. So what the free radicals do is it goes into that mitochondria. The mitochondria is the energy air, the center and the energy area of our body. So that's where we make what's called ATP. ATP is our energy source of our body. So when you have these free radicals roaming through the, roaming through the body, they enter the mitochondria and they decrease the amount of ATP that's being being uh, made. So when you have a decrease in ATP, you have a decrease in energy. What's the number one thing most people do when they have low energy? They need to go get something to give them energy. So they're going to go eat because that's a good source of energy. So what's happening is that DNA is breaking down, causing you to have decreased energy, and now you're going to go search for more, more food. This is why obesity is hard to manage because you're always hungry and you're always wanting to go get more food because your energy level is so low chronically. So that is what fructose does to our DNA and how it decreases our energy and has our body wanting to go get more food. So we talked about before that sugar and high fructose corn syrup is broken up into fructose and glucose. So glucose, when we get a lot of glucose being um, produced in our body and basically just anything you ingest gets broken down to the most basic component of glu glucose. Well, glucose activates a hormone called insulin. Insulin is the hormone that will take glucose out of the blood and bring it to the cells so it has energy, so it gets that ATP created. 
Unfortunately, when you have too much insulin, other things can develop as well. So if you have high fructose and high glucose in the body, there's going to be a surge of insulin to try to take that out of the blood. But also two other things happen. One, if you look, insulin activates a hormone called lipoprotein lipase. It's a big word, but all that hormone does is it takes the fat in our body and transports it into the fat cell. So we have a hormone that brings that fat into the cell. But on the other end, it activates another hormone called hormone-sensitive lipase. That hormone-sensitive lipase is going to close the door to the fat cell. So what we have is we have this insurge of insulin that's causing the fat to go into the cell and can't get out. So we have these fat cells that keep growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And when it gets too, too big, then what happens is it duplicates itself and now we have a second fat cell that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's why it's so hard for people that are overweight to maintain their, their size because they just have these fat cells that just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger if they're not changing their diet. So that's what fructose and glucose have to do with insulin. Now we have to talk about leptin resistance. So leptin is a hormone in the brain that tells your body it's full. So you're eating a meal, and the leptin sends a signal saying, okay, don't eat anymore, I'm full. That's the normal process. When you have too much fructose in the body, what happens is that fructose blocks that leptin from working. So now the leptin is no longer telling your brain or telling your body that you're full. So you just eat and eat and eat, and you're no longer shutting down that, that process. So leptin resistance is blocked, or leptin is blocked by fructose and causing you to continue to eat because you don't know when you're full. So not only do you have this breakdown of your body where you're getting low ATP and low energy and you're going to get food because you want to get the energy, but now you have a signal that's not telling you you're full. So you're going to eat a lot and then you're not going to say you're full so you're just going to keep eating and that's how that cycle gets worse and worse and worse. Last but not least, let's go back to insulin is insulin resistance. So if you have these huge surges of sugar and blood and, and glucose going through the body, you're going to get a lot of insulin that's going to be starting to get released by the body. Unfortunately, if there's too much glucose, the insulin can no longer attach to it and take it out, so you get what's called insulin resistance. So you're going to get a decreased sensitivity to that insulin, so your body's not going to be able to use that insulin the way it's supposed to. Now what's going to happen is you're going to slowly start to raise that blood sugar. And blood sugar is known in di the diabetic world. So you want to be careful. You don't want to have that glucose in your blood to raise. That's what most doctors call diabetes. Insulin resistance is the step before diabetes. Some people call it pre-diabetes. So you have this insulin that's no longer taking the glucose out of the blood. So what's happening is that glucose is slowly raising. And, and the way we can help this is by removing the high sugar and high fructose corn syrup uh, substances from your body because then your body won't have these insulin surges and you could calm down that process. So we have a lot of things that are going on in the body just because of high fructose in the body. Now sucrose, like we said earlier, is in most of the products that we, that we make, you know, that we bake with, that we're eating in fast food restaurants and and, and, and our carbohydrate, high carbohydrate diets. High fructose corn syrup is that hidden uh, product that you don't realize is in your foods and drinks. And yes, that's right, it's in a lot of drinks. If you look on the back of a lot of your juices and your sodas and your, your drinks like that, high fructose corn syrup is in it. So you want to minimize the amount of um, high fructose corn syrup you're having in the diet in addition to regular sugar. So you want to you know, have a diet that's lower in processed carbohydrates, processed foods, fast foods, stuff like that. It's stuff that you keep hearing out there, you know, dietitians and nutritionists and doctors are telling you to you know, watch your sugar intake. But this is the reason why. What I just presented right now is why they tell you that because it causes a lot of havoc in our body. So I hope you enjoyed that short presentation about why sugar is keeping the world fat. 
If you have any questions about what I just went over, please feel free to contact me directly. My email is drmarcoferrucci at gmail.com. You can also catch us on our social media, The Chiropractic Source on Facebook, at The Chiro Source on Twitter. And our website is www.thechiropracticsource.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.